In a hundred lifetimes, in a hundred worlds, in any version of reality, I'd find you and I'd choose you. Today's wedding is a ceremony of celebration. A celebration of love, of commitment, of hard work, of friendship, of family, and of two people who came from very different parts of the world that are choosing to be in this forever. Within this blessed union of souls, where two hearts intertwine to become one, there lies a promise. Perfectly born, divinely created, and intimately shared, it is a place where the hope and majesty of beginning resides, where all things are made possible by the astounding love shared by two spirits. Alex and Su Yen, we come together not to mark the start of a relationship between you, but rather to celebrate the continuation of the joint life that you have built together through hard work, commitment, and appreciation for your good adventure. Today marks a moment to solemnize and celebrate your continued commitment to each other as you become husband and wife. And we gather here today with you to witness and celebrate the vows and promises <laughs> as your life continues to evolve and grow through the official act of marriage. It's not one moment, it's not even this moment, it's every single moment. And even though we describe love in different ways and though love can look different from one person to the next, we all know it when we see it and we see it here. Remember eight years ago, we held hands for the first time in Taiwan on a bridge. You didn't know it at the time, and I don't want to tell you then that it was a famous lover's bridge in Taipei. And here we are, about to enter another milestone in our lives at another bridge in our favorite city, from that bridge to this bridge, I look back on our last eight years together with amazement and wonder. Amazed because despite the differences that separated us at times, we held on to each other closer. In awe because of the remarkable life. That we have built together from scratch from the bright eye college or college years to now, where we get to pursue our dreams in each other's company. Over the last eight years, we've been through so much together. We grew and learned together. We left footprints all over the world, chasing sunsets, rainbows, and waterfalls. We experienced lives high of highs and low of lows. Through it all, you have been the one true constant. You have been my most trusted listener and cheerleader. At my weakest, you lift me up. At my happiest, you smile with the biggest smile. On an average day, your jokes make me laugh so hard that it hurts and it makes me really mad. <laughs> <laughs> you, you encourage me to defy convention and to think outside the box. You inspire me to be a better person because of the innate kindness and positivity in you. And even after eight years of hearing you say I love you, I don't ever question if these words have become platitudes. You back them up with action. And often it's the little things, like how you never rush me at museums, <laughs> or how you always save me the last bite of food, <laughs> or that time you, when you quietly cleaned the snow off my car before your 6 a.m. flight, so that when I got out to go to work, that Monday morning was less blue. The last eight years have also proved to me that we make a great team. What I treasure most about us is that even though we're different in many ways, we can negotiate our differences with humor and sensibility. We not only accept each other for who we, who we are, but we turn our complementary ways into an asset. Nothing seems daunting when we're together. And because of that, and because of the foundation we've built out of love and mutual respect, I truly believe that together we can achieve anything. In continuing our journey together, I promise to be your partner and best friend. I promise to support you in fulfilling your ambitions. And I promise to love you always. Mm -hmm. And I hope 
maybe many more eight-year intervals from now when we're gray-haired and old and slow we'll stand back here on the spot and look back on a lifetime of joy and adventures feeling even more amazed than we are today Dear Su Yen, my gorgeous and inspiring bride, I don't think it was destiny that brought us together. To say that would imply that there was some sort of greater plan for us to meet. We grew up on opposite sides of this world, spoke different languages, practiced different religions, pursued different pursuits. But the one thing we did have in common was that we always make our own way through life. The impromptu choices we made individually happened to land us in the same city for the first times in our lives. For us, our paths are always shifting but the moment ours crossed, we chose to make them cross again. And for eight years, despite our past bringing us to separate cities, separate states, separate countries, we've always chosen to make them cross again and again. People talk about things being a million miles away, but combined, we've literally traveled those million miles. We've shown each other things in this world that have changed us, guided us, and questioned us. We've led each other on amazing adventures. Christmas sunrises in the Sahara, hiking in the Andes, stargazing in Ireland, camping in Iceland, horseback riding in Nicaragua, just to name a few. We've met amazing and inspiring people along the way, but no one I've ever met was as amazing or as inspiring as you. With your imagination and my excessive spontaneity, we've never spent much time wishing for something in our lives. We'd much rather spend our time making it a reality. Chinese New Year in Malaysia sounds like a fun weekend trip. Layover in London, let's hit up to Shum. The <laughs> Evansville, Indiana, sure, why not? But it's so much more than that. You understand my passions and you understand me. I don't think many people would be supportive of my flying out every Monday morning for the last six years, only to come home and work some more. But I think that's been the key to us. No matter what ambitions or dreams one of us has, whether it's moving to Germany or Shanghai, or if it's building a new business or pursuing a new pursuit, we'd never hold each other back. We support each other and we make that dream come true. Our relationship has always been so strong because we made that decision early on to always make our paths cross again. Sometimes it takes a bit of luck or some long nights, but we make it work and we never regret it. It's what we do, and I want it to be what we always do. I love you forever. By the authority vested in me by the state of New York, I now pronounce you for the first time, husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> <laughs>